This is a dusty Morris Black Fedora purchased in 1998 at Costume Specialists in Columbus, Ohio. In 2001, it became the Live Adam hat during my 4TV's performances, which eventually led to my first national exposure on CBS. It means the world to me. Hi, I'm Adam Contras, and this is Hats and Mini Golf. Today my guest is Jim O'Hare, and his hat, well, his head, is enormous. Jim is best known for his role as Jerry on NBC's Parks and Recreation, which is currently filming their seventh and final season. He is also married to Christy Brinkley on the show, which makes him a son of a bitch. I fully intend to capture my first hats and mini golf victory against him and not give him a ride in the DeLorean time machine. You know, it's talked about across the country. I have seen the episodes. I am nervous. Well, this is your, this, you need this. I, I'm desperate for you this. Need that. But I don't want that little fish, that little Ellen DeGeneres fish. That hat. Yeah. I don't know, brother. That's, uh, go ahead and spin the wheel, but I, is there a story You said to it? bring a hat. I... The story is, no hat fits my head. I have a pumpkin head. I'm not embarrassed by that. It is what it is. I've been given other appendages that are quite large, and so this is just Ew. another one. Ew. And okay. I look ridiculous, but you said to wear a hat. Oh God, come on, come on, I need this, because I suck at the, I suck at, at the mini golf. No, no. No, not one, not two, not three, even okay. three, no, I'm screwed. You have a choice. You can take that, or you can go again, but you have to take whatever you get this time. Oh no, going again. Okay. Go on. Right. I can right. only do two worse. You can only do can two only, worse. No, 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 I'm going again. But you again. could do two worse. But I could do two worse. Okay, so the color I really want is this, Salmon. Red snapper, actually. Oh, looking for this. Looking for snapper. Snap. No. Oh, for Christ's sake. No. Snapper. <laughs> yes, yeah, snapper. Damn it. Damn it. That's Damn it, awesome. You got the best one. I got the snapper. <laughs> oh fuck. Where's oh, the I beer? Thank you. Ow! I'm sorry, dude. I hate to see that. That's a very nice putt, sir. Well, that would be a hole in one. Now, here's my question. That is what we're supposed to do, right? Because it's. I mean, isn't that the. I'm, am I confused? Why did you take two strokes? Yeah, right. I just don't get it why you did two. This is interesting to say. You are on a Thursday night NBC show in its seventh season. Yeah. Wow. Like, that's actually. Remarkable. It's must-see TV. Yeah. Now, even though things have changed for NBC on Thursday night. It has, but not that much. Come on. like The, as... the, the numbers might have changed, but I don't think some of the quality has changed. No. I think there's some great shows, not just yeah. us. but uh, So it's, it's, it's an honor, I got to say. And this is the final season. Final season, yeah. And like, I, I mean, you know, as an actor, this is the dream. Yeah, it's This is cool. the dream yeah, for TV no, acting. And yeah. it's funny, this is usually the question where I'm like, Okay, 30 years ago you had to play this, da, da, da. but no, you are right now. <laughs> yeah. You're in this, and are you enjoying it? Enjoying doesn't even cover it. Um, it's been the greatest experience ever, and not just the cast who I love, but the crew, um, the producers, the writers. It, it, it's the, been the best experience that I could ever imagine, which of course is scaring to all of, uh, frightening to all of us because will we ever find this again? Right. You know, it, it's a rarity what we got going on. And there. the truth is. Probably not. Probably not. We, we um, get that. When we first talked about this, you made you triggered memories of mine that I hadn't had in a long oh, time. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you were doing a lot of crack when we talked yeah, last time. It's understandable. Yeah, so that it is, is understandable. totally understandable. Okay, I think I got this. I got. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, wow. it's good. It's gonna be a rough. It's gonna be a rough game. Wow. There's some tips on this, but I'm not gonna give them to you. Oh, too hard. Oh! oh that's an off course. Oh! Damn. Oh, now that's, 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 that's unfortunate. Kind of what you were counting on? That's, a, that's what I'm gonna help for. This is for, this is for a four. This is a double bogey. Whoo! You were talking about the uh, crew. 
Yeah. I didn't realize it until we were talking that I had kind of blocked out a part of, um, of my career. And it was hanging out with my crew, yeah. doing my show, being on the set, and it's something you don't have control over. Meaning, you do it until they say you can't do it anymore. Yeah. And then you don't do it. Yeah. Until somebody says you can do it again. Yes. And which they may never say. Exactly. And they which may never they say that again. They didn't for me. Yeah. And that was. Well, yeah. Six there's years no. Ago. There's no. No. I know. That. Who I know knows? That. Yeah. I know that. But it was six years ago. Yeah. And I didn't realize it, but I missed my crew desperately. Like Absolutely. my cameraman. Absolutely. Um, the crew moves on to the next show, and you never see them. The hours are crazy. Especially yeah. for crew. For the actors, you can have a short day, a long day, you never know. Right. And you can the always crew is there to call and they, they rap. Yeah. I mean, so. And then they go on the next show. And they have to be there. So even you can right. say, listen, let's grab beers. Well, I'm working till one in the morning. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're right. on a new show that might go till one in the right. morning. And especially seven seasons. I've never done this before. I've never been on a show this long. So. Has the crew hang, hung on? We have had, from my understanding, 80% of the crew is the same from the beginning. That oh. itself is unheard of. But it goes to show you the atmosphere of the show. We have guys who came back for season seven, which is a 13 episode season instead of 22, who turned down 22 episode shows so they could rap with us. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, that goes to show you what goes on there. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll get around my get, get. Uh, you hate to see you get trapped behind that wall. That's all right, that's all right. Yeah, I hate to see that. That's a, that's a, that, that puts me at one under. Nope, that's good enough. Oh, oh. oh but it stayed on that side. Hey, you putted before. Okay. It's a par though, so I'm gonna be okay with the par. Maybe I make up another stroke. You spent a lot of time in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, hometown. Right. There's something funny, I have some friends that are in Chicago and the way they feel about Los Angeles. And there is a, it's almost like a, an honor to be able to say, oh, I went to LA and I just don't, the people, and I, just, well, I can't, I gotta be in Chicago. And there's yeah. like this, this thing, yet we did it and you were incredibly successful and you like LA now. I love LA. Right. It's very fashionable to hate LA. Yeah. And I have friends who've been, and exactly, oh, no. God, this is terrible because I don't want to sound mean, but it didn't work out for you, so you went home. Right. That's okay. Yes. That happens. Right. It, we don't, it doesn't work out. Not everything works out. I've tried a million things that didn't work out. Right. So just say that. But don't go, don't well, they're that. fucking LA. Who the hell could, ugh, ugh. Right. Yeah. It just didn't work out. That's I agree. okay. I agree. Go back to Chicago. It's not a better place. That is an awesome point. And, yeah. you know, the other thing is I think that this city more than any of them, this is exactly what you make it. Yeah. Meaning there are so many different ways to do LA. Yeah. I mean, you could you could hike every day. You could be in the mountains. You could be at the beach. You, I mean, it's there's you a. You sit in front of your television and just watch DVR all day. <laughs> no, joking. <laughs> I don't do that. Well, and also it, it's more the people. Like, oh, the people are so this or so. That. The truth is, is whenever you're in a competitive area, yeah, you're gonna run into competitive people. Yeah. That's not the city. That's just that you're in a competitive place. It, but I think people are searching for a reason to hate. Had it. you not gotten some success yeah might you have moved back I, I don't think so but that being said I you know I, I don't know that uh, I don't think so the reason is I, I'm just what else am I gonna do so if I'm gonna keep trying for this damn business it might as well be here every time I talk to you I get this like god damn it yeah I'm a sage yeah no it's very it, sage when I was at my lowest point right I remember thinking well the, the, the moment when I felt most like me was here. Yeah. So I'm gonna hang out here because it's probably where I'm gonna find me again. Believe me, if acting's a hobby, what a wonderful hobby. But I didn't want to work all day and then do theater at night like I had done for many, many years yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, because also, I you know, as you get older, it's not so cool to be sleeping on couches and, and you know, and that's an age thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, so, the truth is once you have a house, you're done. You're done. You're not, I mean, once you, I remember when well, I got the, my yeah, house, I can like never get huge. rid of this. Exactly. I will do everything I can. I never thought I could have a house in LA. Oh my God, I have a house. Exactly. Yeah, I feel the exact same way. There, look at that. Oh, look at this. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. bum, bum. bum. Yeah, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Damn it. Let me 
me near. Oh, you almost did it. Oh, a little, oh, what? Yes, good. Didn't deserve okay. that. Should be a pretty simple shot. Very nice. Should be and was. You got me thinking about, you know, back in the day. Which, by the way, I have heard you sing. The boy can sing. We all did a bit on The Price is Right. The, I got I got the set. I did a whole little bit with all wow. my characters, like the, one great. of the greatest days of my life. Yeah. And so this was a nod, and then. So you've seen the condition of The Price is Right. Oh yeah. Well, they did it up. I got it. I, it, I was there like the month that Drew Carey took over. Oh. So I so got they... I got the old set, which was a, I couldn't believe how bad everything looked. Terrible. But I love the colors. I yeah. love the yeah. the nice. But to be behind backstage and see these boats and everything looks terrible. It looks horrible. The camera, fresh. Brand spanking new. It's amazing. And you know what the other thing that got me about The Price is Right? Is that they do everything with depth, not width. Yes. The fuck? Yes. I went in there and I'm like, yes. what? This is the tiniest stage I've ever seen. How are they doing this? It's amazing. Yeah. On Parks and Rec, you're like, you guys have a real we, set. They, we have something that is almost unheard of. We have a set that has never been taken down since we started, which when I go back, after we wrap Sam on the lot for something, will absolutely, I'm just preparing for the day where I walk into Soundstage 21 and just the dagger just goes into my heart. You'll get a little plaque. Uh, maybe. You know what I mean? You know the maybe. plaque outside? It like, might have a plaque. From 2009 to today. Yeah, yeah, it might. Uh, I don't rough. know. Oh, that's good. That's the birdie ramp. It should go in two. And I'm going to keep that. There we go. I'm done. Very happy with that. I feel I'm being bamboozled, OK? He hit that, he knew exactly what was gonna happen. Okay? I call bullshit. Okay. Yeah, we need we need the cutaways from the Parks and Rec guy. I understand. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we by the way, talking heads. after this we need yes. talking heads of every old. Yes. Good. A little light. You did that a little light. Oh, for crying out loud, but it went all the way over. Alright, you got your um, two. Um I'm gonna keep that. You keep the two. Yeah, I'll keep the two. That's all right. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's the worst place you can keep the ball. Darn it. That is the worst. Gosh darn it. Wow, this one sucks. No! Not bad, not bad, not bad. This is pretty steep. It's not an easy shot. Did you build this yourself? I did build all this metal. What's underneath? Uh, a piece of wood and cement. Oh, and cement. I like built a little wooden thing and then I cemented it. All in. What a treat for the people who buy your house down the road. Yeah, good luck to them. Yeah! Oh! Oh, he misses it. God, that's just... Oh, boy. He... Alright, so five is better than six, so get this. This will put you at uh, two over. And he doesn't get it. You sixed it. Wow. You have no idea. <laughs> Wait. I keep trying to tell people how hard it is. I've done that every show. And you make it look like it's nothing. Okay, how did you figure out how to build that? Dude, I, I'm a genius. I mean, just the time I've spent with you, I can't amazing. imagine you could figure that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, you go into 1985. Oh, uh, yeah. What kind of hill is this? It's downhill. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Another, t another tip? To the right? You're going to want to kind of hit it. See how there's a little really? bump Really? You hit it to about right here. Never would have done that. It should curve in a little bit. Go! When I was hired, literally my agent said to me, I don't know if you're going to want to do this. <laughs> we don't know, you know, it's, we don't want you to feel like you're an extra. I'm like, but these are the people who created the office. Look what happened to those. Yeah background people. Yeah. Um, so to me, it was a no-brainer. There's a period of probably three or four months where I don't know if I have a show to go to. Dude, every, every year. Every year. You have no relief. And it's gotten different. I mean, years ago, you would have had more of a, right. like, oh, they'll keep us on. Just Nowadays, you can do three and you're off the damn air. Like Mulaney premiered last night. Right. Something better happen or he's got two more episodes and he's going to be gone. It's insane. It's insane. In the old days, Mulaney could have built, like Seinfeld built, right. like Cheers, the lowest, lowest show, show on the ratings on, right. chart, built. 
there's no building anymore. You either come out of the gate with some heat or you don't. Don't you think that's why the internet's starting to win? Because they do build and they can, yeah. TV is so scared. That being said, yes. that kind of happened with parks because our Nielsen numbers might not have been great, but you know, I'm number seven on the call sheet and I can't walk down the street without someone asking for a picture or whatever because the young people are on Netflix or they're on Hulu. Right. They're not sitting in front of their television Thursday night. They're just not, that's not how it works anymore. It just doesn't work anymore. Nor would we have 30 years ago if we could get cheers on our of phone. Of course. Right, of yeah. Of course. In every season, the bubble, every list, oh, Parks is on the bubble, Parks is on the bubble. You know? I mean, what is that? that that's the thing. Do you just like hang out and. You wait. It's, it's, a, it's wait. the worst waiting game in the whole world. And then when it gets close to upfronts where they present what's going to make it, the emails are flying back and forth. You know, Amy, have you heard anything? And then she's like, you guys, you know, if I heard anything, I'd tell you. It, you know, and then the ex executive producer, uh, guys, I know nothing. Uh, other than, other than, like one year they said, can Nick come here for upfronts? We're like, well, if they're having Nick go to upfronts, yeah, clearly. that's got to be a good thing. Um, you know, so you're, you're trying to speculate. The best year we had was this going into this season because they it. announced it in January. Oh. That's true. I was at Sundance. I, and ironically, the last year's uh, season ender could have been a, a series people, finale. A lot of diehard fans feel that could have been the finale. Yeah. And I totally see where they're coming right. from. Other than when you see what we're doing, yeah, good. I think you'll be like, oh, that's how you, that's how you end. And you're going to be telling us what you're doing at nine, whole nine, right? I'm going to reveal everything. Awesome. And I missed it. Damn it. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa! I mean, wow. Oh boy. That is completely because of the second beer. Yeah, I know. And no it's dinner. The beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in that hole. Get in that hole. Get in that. Oh! oh don't you hate to see oh. him upset? Oh, I'm so happy. That good. Good for you. All right, I'm six over. No, good for you. Dick. No, no, really good for you. Really, really? Awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. No, I, I just feel bad. I, I feel. Oh God. And that would be perfect, you son of a bitch. Oh, gosh darn it. I probably won't end up with the six now. <laughs> Steer Reich one. I don't like this. I know, I, but I do. This I don't like. Okay. <sighs> Let's face it. If that didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. No. Gosh darn it. I really wanted you to get that one. There you go. Oh, he's going to get a hole in one. He's going to get a hole in one. Ah, no. Okay. You get your ride. I can see already I'm not going to fit in this car. And if I do, it's going to be tight. Oh, okay. Wow. I am in. I'm very surprised. <laughs> but how do we know that the, 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 it's not going to hit my head? There's a little bubble for your head. Okay. I don't know if that's a... Okay, I'm going to slide down until that little bubble is above my head. <laughs> you are so funny. Because <laughs> this is crazy. All right, you yes. got to grab it. Do I look like Michael J. Fox? You, I do, uh, surprisingly. Surprisingly? Okay. I just pull down. Yeah, okay. hard. You got to actually get oh, hard, yeah. But what if it snaps my neck? Oh, I'm in. Okay. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is awesome. Uh-huh. Oh, oh I like the DeLorean. Uh-huh. Let's see. Oh, I like the gray. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm literally going to slide down. Oi. Whew. You son of a bitch that I'm sitting in this damn thing. I am. Okay. You look... Okay. You are a regular size guy. You look... It's not super roomy for you. It is not. Well, it's also this stupid hat I got. Yeah, they had a stupid. First of all, okay. okay. My knees. I'm gonna lick my knee in a second. That's how tight this is. <laughs> you won this. This is I, your, This is my prize. This is your reward. What the hell? My legs. Are, and this isn't a weight thing. My legs are in my. My knees are like. <laughs> but it, I'm screwed because that, I'm right, six that, one. Right, but that's also because you're scooted scooted out. But I can't go higher because my head's hitting. I'm. I'm literally right now. I'm like toothpaste. <laughs> if this door opens, I. I expand the and worst. I just come out. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't you, think uh, no Watanabe had this had this problem. He, he did not yeah, actually. I bet he did. He, if you if you watch the video of Gary Giddy, he's like this. He's like, 
Oh yeah. Like he's, he's hanging out. Like there's like four people of him could fit in that. I thing. literally can't move. Right. I can only turn my head. Was down. there any point in your career where you were like, I'm gonna try to lose some weight to get some acting gigs? Was that did that well, ever it, cross your mind? It's funny. Well, of course it crosses your mind, uh, and especially as you get older, because well, right, you know you, we also have your heart to think about. But right. not only was it not encouraged, it was discouraged. Once you became. Once I started getting regular work, right. I'd guest spots and shows and maybe recur a little here and a pilot right. here, whatever. Uh, you know, you get known for who you are, but that being said, I don't want to die at, you know, 55 years old. Right. Okay. So, as crazy as it sounds, I'm very heart healthy, as they call it. Right. I do, uh, I do the physical every year, I've had tests done, and everything is good. I, I don't even take any pills. I don't. Well, clearly you run. So. I, yeah, clearly I run, yeah. But here's the thing. Are you not kind of tired of, ah, fat, funny guy, break something? Um, no. Uh, well, eh, yeah. Overall, no. And I say that because, number one, I love that kind of humor. So I'm okay with it. But also, you know, I've, I've grown comfortable with my lifestyle. Right. Um, and if this is how people see me. It's what they know me as. Have you ever seen uh, Shia LaBeouf? Oh, yeah. In person? Yeah. That fucking guy looks like a homeless person. Yeah, no, no. He's so he's skinny. He's emaciated almost. It's an unbelievable. But on film, he looks like a... Dude, yeah. like it doesn't look any... I, I went on that diet that Oprah ended up doing, but I say I originated it, but who cares because someone knows who I was, <laughs> but I was on liquid. Okay. And for nine months, I didn't have a bite of food. Okay. Lost 148 pounds. Not a bite of food. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, you lost 140 in nine months. In nine months. Literally by the fifth month, I would go through McDonald's, I'd order a Big Mac, Sit in the car, chew it, spit just it to suck on it, yeah. and spit it out. And right. I'm like, okay, well, this is getting I, crazy. I, I have been there. This is crazy. I'm just letting you know. So you know, I've, yeah. I've been there. My sister was graduating from nursing school, so a big family dinner kind of thing. And I thought, okay, here's where I go back to eating. The problem is with these diets. Once your body starts getting food again, it stores it because it it's scared will not let it yeah, go. Yeah, you yeah. gain 20 pounds before you've even blinked. Right. You're back up 20. Yeah. And I did end up gaining 90 something pounds back. Right. So, uh, yeah, you know, it, 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 it's no, you can't live that way. Yeah. Obviously, the way to diet is exercise, number one, and portions. Yeah. You know, Let's you can more. still have cake, but have a little more. slice of cake. Yeah, and, the, and the, I'm glad it's finally getting back to math. Which I, yes, it is man. You know, it You're is. Right. It really is man. Right. Uh, and these these yeah. these things right here, these little Fit bands. Yeah. What, what's so great about them is that they kind of tell you your activity level. Yeah. Meaning, if you're not very active, you really can't have that many calories. You just can't because you can. you're not active enough. Well, to, you can. You can, but <laughs> yes. your body will store it. Exactly. And it's yeah. it, it really is math. And once you figure out what your number is, yeah. You it's not too hard. My right? Fitbit tells me like if I. To maintain your weight, you yeah, can probably I, have like 3,000, 4,000 calories. Like 32, yeah. 3,300 yeah, yeah. calories. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it is impossible to talk about this without mentioning uh, two of your co-workers. Yeah. That are probably the most beautiful people. Well, then that would make three of us. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and if, not only in general, but for the fact that they're combined 110 years old. How is it humanly fucking possible that Rob Lowe yeah. looks like that at 50? And Chrissy Brinkley looks like that at six. How is that even well feasible? People will argue this, but I know for a fact because I saw the paperwork. They signed a deal. <laughs> right. They, they signed a deal. <laughs> now, what they're giving up when they die, to be honest, is pretty extreme. Right. But they felt it was worth it because that is the only fucking explanation. I, if we woke up tomorrow and it said they found Rob Lowe and Chrissy Brinkley were <laughs> aliens from another yeah, planet, exactly. we'd go, you know, I had a feeling. Yeah. Well, That's Rob, how unbelievable they look. Rob is a year and a half younger than me and some paper posted <laughs> an article. Oh my God, we get an accident when you said that. Yeah, oh, year and a half. <laughs> they posted an article and they put a picture of me and a picture of Rob Lowe. <laughs> and they said, what's wrong with this picture? Under him, it said 1960. Four, oh. Under me, it's in 1962. But I said to Rob, because I, I was like, you got to see this. I go, okay, you're the freak. Yeah. That's I it. look like 1962. Well, here's the thing. He was the same age as Archie Bunker. Oh, and I went, God. okay, give me a break. <laughs> that's what 50 that's, looked like wow. 40 years ago. Archie Bunker was 50. 49 wow. in the pilot, but 50. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Here's the thing about Chrissy Brinkley that I'll, I'll never <laughs> understand. Yeah. When she was 20, if you yeah. had asked her, 
what are you going to be doing in your 60s? She probably would be thinking, thank God I'm not going to have to do this anymore. Yeah. I'm going to be a grandmother. I'm going to yes. be knitting. Yeah. Isn't she fucking tired of having to be Christy Brinkley every time she comes out of a fucking car? Like... Isn't yeah, part of her like it's oh, her. she's got to be tired of it. Yeah. For example, Jamie Lee Curtis, gorgeous woman. Yeah. At certain points, she went, "Fuck it, I'm gray." Yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna just yeah. own it. And she's still gorgeous. Yeah. But she looks like an older woman. Yeah. Yeah. Depending no, on the Brinkley, angle, because yeah. she's 25 years old. Yeah. It's, no, definitely. She was on the cover of Sports Illustrated this year at, at 60. 60 years old. I know. It's it, incredible. It is. Absolutely You're right. I've never asked. I should ask next time I see her because. What, like, can she run to the store? Can she just wake up and run to the store? Or is it everything have to be a big crossing? And here's the other thing. She is not a dumb blonde. This oh, is a dude. woman who is She's smart. never, ever, ever come off like that no. in any interview. She's she always is a like smart that. lady. She is invested. I mean, she's told me different products she's involved in. She is a businesswoman. Um, not great at picking husbands. I think Christy oh, would not be know, mad at me for saying that. But here's the thing. Does, does anybody on the planet think of her as anything but good friends with Billy Joel, right? Yeah, and, dear, and, like, like dear, dear, dear right, friends, and, yeah. Right, and the whole other thing, it doesn't even register to me. It was an ugly thing, yeah. and the second it got ugly, we all just went, uh, we just, I checked out, because yeah. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. yeah, And then there she is at, at Billy Joel concerts, getting along, talking about, the, and yeah. I, I'm friends with my exes, yeah. I get it. I, I, it's not that I didn't love them. We just couldn't be married. Yeah, that was it. it. Didn't work as a, yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. still. I still love them. They're still yeah. sisters to she's me. She's had, you know, issues. I wouldn't go into her issues, but I'm just saying she's had issues with the exes who are crazy. Right. Uh, not Billy, because they're dear friends. Um, you know what? It, it's that whole that weird thing. But this is all through the ages. Someone's married to an Angelina Jolie. Someone's married to a Christy Brinkley. Someone's married to whatever. Ten, and they cheat. And right. You're like, how the hell did they cheat? Because you can't compare to new. Well, you know what I mean? And it's tough. I also think that this is a very weird way to put it, but there's an ego involved in getting well, a Christy Brinkley yeah. that you must believe yeah. you're God's gift. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, if But then that's not enough? Like right now, if somebody said, okay, I mean, say you weren't married, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. She wants Adam. Yeah, no, of course. This is all she wants. You would say, yes, I will commit the rest even, of my life. Listen, to even, Angel, even, even married, my wife would say, bring her. No, but, you know, <laughs> let's, let's, let's figure this out. Because, let's see how the three know, of us can make this but, work. <laughs> yeah. you know. Hats and mini golf will be right back after this brief word from our sponsor. Hi, friends. Goldie Wilson III for RentForDeLorean.com. You know, when my grandpa was mayor of Hill Valley, he could only dream of having a DeLorean time machine for one of his events. But now, you can rent the DeLorean for as little as $199.95. And you can even have me, Goldie Wilson III, at any of your events with the Golden Package. Remember, RentTheDeLorean.com. But then when you married your wife now, mm -hmm. did you, was there any of that? Because I, I know this story. Honey, I want a place that's ours. I don't, um, I, I don't want the ex's place. I don't want, well, uh, which, which I get, be, and yet it's like, no, but it's a great house. Why that, the fuck would we leave here? I was very honest with my wife. Um, I don't have any money. Yeah. And this house is all I got. Yeah. So there isn't, I don't really see a situation where I'm suddenly going to be able to do that. And I've also- Well, that being said, in this town, it could happen. It could. Yeah, yeah. No, that's totally true. But the, yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, I mean, I had, it's funny. We had this discussion very early, like two weeks into meeting her. I'm like, you come from money. I do not. Oh, she does. Yeah. yeah. I'm never going to be that guy. I actually don't give a shit about money. Yeah. I want enough to be somewhat so she comfortable. needs to know that that's where we are. I let her know that so soon and so strongly, it never came up. Am I going to be able to get out of this fucking oh, thing? Oh, yeah. There, I might I might want to let you get out before I, I pull trapped. it. I trapped. <laughs> yeah, see you later, buddy. <laughs> no, but so she was on board, though. She was on board, and the truth is, we knew, when we first met, she knew I was never going to get married again. She knew she was never going to get married again. Oh, I remember you telling Yeah, yeah we did that buddies. thing. Let's, let's have and, fun. And the truth is, we just had so much fun, none yeah. of it mattered anymore. I mean, yeah. I think that's she how... She seems adorable. Oh, she's... she's yeah. awesome. I, I, I mean, we recognized each other right away. We dated for a while, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Okay. What, what's happening? Uh, you here? know what? For that, you're gonna, you're gonna work your way out of that. You know how she likes to. Oh, anyway. Wait till you see what my hair is gonna look like. 